can't even think straight. My head is just tired. Sleep, sleep, sleep. So it's very early on Sunday morning, as I'm sure you've seen. Nobody should be waking up at this time on a Sunday. It's ridiculous. Um, but we're going to Venice. Yay! Going for the day. So this is going to be kind of like just over 24 hours in Venice. So come along with us and I hope you enjoy. So we started out the day by getting to the train station instead of the bus station, but we're here, we've got some food. Waiting for our bus now to get to Venice. Ooh. Still too early. in Venice. We've been driving around on a bus in the middle of Venice for I don't know how long, about 30 minutes. But we've been dropped off. But we don't, we just don't know where we're going. Girl. I look like shit, I know this. I've realised this with the viewfinder. Wow. Okay, so we made a decision to just get on a train. We've got a whole little booth to ourselves. Um, we don't really know what we're doing. <laughs> no, we have got a map though, that's yeah, coming we, handy. Coming we handy. have a map. It's, oh, I'm just, I'm hungry and I'm tired and I want to just get to this campsite, but we'll, we'll see what happens. I, I, I just don't know anymore. I want to get changed. Too many things, too many things. So we've had a bit of a turn of events. We're now in a hotel and it's nice. Um, we're gonna go and get some food because I just I can't function properly without food at this point. Got my sun cream on. Got everything? Are you good? We've got the mama. Mama's already gone down in the lift. Great. We need food. That's good. Let's see what Venice has got. Well, I have had my first pizza in Italy. It was all right. It's about on the same wavelength as Spa's thin and crispy frozen pizza, to be honest, but. You know, um, they, they could be better ones in the future, we'll see. Doing some exploring, seen a couple of gondolas, I'm very excited, I want to go on one. usual we're getting lost we have two maps we do have two maps they're very very confusing but you know there's still hope for us we've got another 20 hours or so in the city maybe we'll get the hang of it by the time we leave it's not as smelly as i thought it would be i'll be honest had a couple of whiffs here and there but nothing too extravagant and that side some cool bridges water and chisel gondolas oh my goodness me we were looking at getting a gondola I mentioned it before didn't i 80 euros what and it's 100 euros for an evening one so i don't know how realistic that's actually going to be now got some nice music
This place is a little bit goddamn beautiful. I... Why am I always speechless? <laughs> was, this is going to be pronounced wrong, the Scheuser de Gesauti. Pretty sure that's not right. This place is so much, it's like so, so, so much bigger than I thought it was. It's huge. Fun fact number one of the day that mum uh, kindly foretold. Um, most people probably know this, I have heard it before, but Venice is sinking every single year by how much was it? Do you reckon they'll just keep like building concrete higher and higher? So yeah, but eventually the buildings will disappear behind it. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I mean, they're, they're looking at trying to put stilts. So there are ways, I suppose, and you know, technology and everything these days. But it's yeah. a hell of a big project, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Good luck, Venice. <laughs> this building mum that they haven't seen yet. The Santa Maria della Salute. Get that one right. the Santa Maria della Salute. Is that what it's called? I think so. Um, I'm really miffed and that's upset me because it's it's beautiful outside. It's not as beautiful inside to be honest. Um, still lovely. Walk in, free entry in big letters and this woman's there with a pot. Um, she kind of motioned to mum to cover her shoulders which is fair enough. And I had my uh, check shirt to cover my legs because I've got shorts on. Um, and I was doing that and she li like she didn't manhandle me but she touched me and I know that's not necessarily a big thing um, but I just she's clever don't get me wrong but come on don't try and con people out of their money because a lot of people don't see that and they think they have to pay to get in and it's just oh just go away you know don't touch me don't try and stop me from going in somewhere that's free all right mate you know I'm putting everybody to shame, literally everybody. This is awesome.
this place. Rome is meant to be better and I can't imagine it at this point so I was just like, oh, am I seeing it? Yeah. I'll try and insert a picture here. There's lots of people crowded around so I couldn't really get any video stuff but this picture here. That is the, we think anyway, is the Bridge of Size. Um, not size as in big or small, but size as in, uh, is that right, Mum? That's yeah. right. Um, apparently, it would. It was one of the last places that prisoners saw before they went uh, underground to be locked up pretty much forever. Um, and so they would sigh. It's quite a sad little story. It's got some proper Italian ice cream. I'm not usually a strawberry girl, but... We are decidedly done for the day. I can't feel my feet, I can't feel my ankles, I can't feel my knees, and <laughs> we're just walking around getting lost as always. <laughs> um, yeah, gonna try and find our way back to our hotel and just chill out. We'll sign off for the night and I think this will continue on tomorrow. So see you then. <laughs>